And now we're looking at the sky once again to see the Lyrid meteor shower nearing its peak. The best chance we have of seeing it is looking pretty much late Monday morning. You're talking uh, late Sunday night into early Monday morning. Our very own Fox Weather meteorologist Stephen Morgan spoke to NASA Ambassador Tony Rice earlier today for more details. Yeah, the outlook's not great this year, and, and every year we have to look at what the moon is doing to determine what that particular meteor shower is going to be like. And this one's not going to be one we're going to write home about. Uh, unfortunately, the moon is going to be nearly full, and that is going to make the uh, this meteor shower, which is usually not super active, can produce some pretty interesting, some pretty brilliant-looking meteors. Uh, but that full moonlight is going to hide quite a few of them. Why are the Lyrids such a, bi a big deal, Tony? I mean, from your perspective, we, we have that peak that's going to, and correct me if I'm wrong, right? It's late Sunday into, into Monday. I mean, there's a window of opportunity, but where we might have the, the highest rate. But why are the Lyrids so, such a big deal? So the, the Lyrids are, are fascinating to me because uh, when the moon conditions are a little bit better, we tend to see more of them, and it's because of where the radiant is. And all meteor showers get their name from the constellation where they uh, appear to be emanating from, and that's just the point in the sky where the, the Earth is kind of heading towards at that time. And that particular radiant point is pretty high in the sky. When it's low in the sky, a lot of the meteors get hidden below the horizon, but this particular one is high in the sky, so we tend to see a few more meteors. Meteor showers are something that have been recorded as you know, something fantastic that is seen in the sky. You know, through, as long as you know, the written word has been out there, and we can go back into some Chinese documents and see some uh, indications of, uh, of, of the lyrids being seen. And you know, you gotta do some, some calendrical calculations there. They were using different calendars at the time. Uh, but I, I should say that all is not lost with this particular year's uh, edition of the Lyrids. The moon should set a, an hour or so before sunrise. So if you're an early riser, I would definitely get out there and, and take a look. Um, you might be able to see a couple once the moon is down and the skies are a little bit darker. But once that sun comes up, yeah, the show's over.